Greetings and welcome back to the Galley of the Sun. So today, another episode in our wide world of food. Today we're going to visit Morocco. As you well know, the first Moroccan state was founded in 778 AD. So Morocco is a country on the northwest tip of Africa, along the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. It is known for having one of the most diverse cuisines in the entire world. They have influences from Moorish food, European food, and Mediterranean food. So what we're making today is Moroccan cigars. Let's put together the innards. So in a food processor, we're gonna put a pound of beef and a pound of lamb. These aren't always in Morocco made with a pound of beef and a pound of lamb because lamb is extremely expensive in Morocco. Now all of the amounts are down in the description and today I have a hoard at my house, tons of kids and grandkids and visitors. So I'm doubling the recipe. A single serving recipe for a normal family is down in the description. Along with my meat in the food processor goes some extra virgin olive oil because sometimes one virgin is not enough. Some diced onions, cumin, and cinnamon, some cayenne pepper, garlic, some minced parsley, and salt and pepper. Now, somehow, some way, we're gonna get all that minced up. You probably won't have this problem if you don't do a double batch. All right, I'm pretty happy that's homogenous now. Now we're gonna roll our cigars. All right, so you can do this with wonton wrappers, but what I really prefer is when they're done with phyllo dough. It makes it fantastic. So think here a Mediterranean slash African lumpia is what we're making. So what we're gonna do here is take two sheets of the phyllo dough. We're gonna cut it right down the middle. If your phyllo dough is pretty dry, you can spray it with water to keep it moist. I think we're good to go here. So I'm going to put a good amount of filling. Along one end here. Get that evened out. Okay, wash my paws real quick. Now we're going to end up shallow frying these. So we want to make sure they get sealed up pretty well. So then we're going to take them. Go ahead and roll them up. Make our nice little cigar there. Roll them to the end. Got an egg wash here. A little bit here on the end to help it seal. Voila, we have our Moroccan cigar. All right, so I'm gonna repeat that process until I have them all done, and then we'll come back and we'll work on the side dish. With the help of my lovely assistant, the director, I have all the Moroccan cigars made now. Now, Man cannot live on Moroccan cigars alone. You must also have brown sugar bourbon, but you also need another side dish. So I know that we have at least one subscriber out there. Hi, Stefan, who's a vegetarian, who will probably appreciate the side dish. So we're gonna do sauteed cabbage with fennel. So I have a tablespoon of oil over here. I'm gonna get that heating until it shimmers. Over here, I have my vegetable oil for frying the uh, Moroccan cigars. I'm gonna get that going. And then we move to the stove. As my veg oil is heating up here for the Moroccan cigars, I have my olive oil over here, about a tablespoon, and it is shimmering. So at this point, in goes just the bulb of the fennel. So I sliced it thinly, cored it, and that's what's gonna go in. We're gonna cook that for about eight to 10 minutes until it is good and tender. So once again, all of the amounts are down below and I'm only doing a single batch of the fennel and cabbage. Um, half of my salt goes on the fennel now. Right now my cabbage is sitting in cold water. It's gonna sit there for at least three minutes. Then I'm gonna drain that and we'll be ready to use it later. Over here for the oil, I have my trusty gun. 
It's about 250 right now. I need to bring that up to 350 before I start on the cigars. So the fennel's getting good and soft. Now's the point where I'm gonna add some crushed red pepper and the garlic. Stir it for about 30 seconds, and then we're taking all of that off the stove. That's a mighty fine aroma. Fennel comes off into a bowl. We set that aside. So the oil for my cigars has came up to temp, so we're gonna start getting those in the fryer. Turning the heat back on over here and getting another tablespoon of olive oil going. Once that starts to shimmer, we're gonna add our cabbage after we drain it. I like the temperature of my oil, so I'm gonna add a few more Moroccan cigars here. My oil is shimmering, in goes my cabbage for about three minutes. And on top of that, it's gonna go the remainder of my salt. The recipe calls for Savoy cabbage. Couldn't find it, but a substitute you can use is Napa. And that's what I've done here, sliced very thin. So especially if you're using a gas stove, make sure you check the temperature of your oil pretty regularly. Um, it's gonna fluctuate as you put food in it and remove food from it. You wanna keep it up above 300 for sure, ideally around 350. All right, now we're going to go ahead and cover our cabbage and let it cook there unstirred until it's pretty much wilted and it starts to brown a little bit on the bottom. All right, now we're gonna check on our cabbage, see if we've got some browning on the bottom there. Well, not quite yet. We definitely are wilted. Put that back on there, I'm gonna jack up the heat a little bit, get a little browning going on. All right, as we get our last couple cigars done, the cabbage is good and wilted, a little browned. So at this point, all the rest of the ingredients go in. The olive oil, the fennel fronds, not the stalks, the stalks were discarded, just the leafy, leafy parts. The lemon juice, the Parmesan cheese, and of course we're using our magic cheese we always talk about and the fennel garlic red pepper mixture goes back in get all that mixed in and mixed up all righty and that is ready to serve so let's give it a try one of the moroccan cigars like i said a fusion of mediterranean african and lumpia it is delicious mm. Ah. The director is here to judge us. As she does that, I'm gonna try out the cabbage and fennel. Yeah, the lemon and the cheese mixed together. How was your cigar? Good. Fantastic. There we go. Hey, if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, and you'll find out when we release every one of our episodes. Thank you so much for joining us at Galley of the Sun, and until we see you next time, fair winds and following seas. All right, the fennel's getting pretty soft, so now I'm going to add some crushed red pepper and something else. I can't f***ing remember. God damn it. So, the garlic's getting... Ah!